Performance Partnership provides a number of different services and products. Primarily we do two things. One is executive coaching for career professionals and we particularly specialise in the support of women within their careers, so helping, helping women advance, get balance, because work-life balance is a big issue for women these days. And we also run and facilitate trainings, workshops and events within the professional development space. And we do find that those two actually dovetail very nicely because a lot of people attend the professional development workshops and then they seek one-on-one -on -one coaching from us afterwards to embed or enhance or develop the training. Well, I started it, I think I mentioned, in 1994 and I um, was learning and development manager for Coca-Cola in Victoria. And I loved that job and I was only 24, I got the job when I was quite young. And I loved all things learning and development, professional development. But there were three things that actually inspired me to say, you know what, I don't want to work for someone else anymore, I want to start my own business. And one was, uh, not to put too fine a point on it, I wanted to be the boss. So I wanted to be my own boss, I wanted to have control over what I did and I wanted to have control over my own, my own destiny. So I really enjoyed that. The second one was actually my father. So my father actually runs his own training and development company, or he did, he's retired now. And that was in the UK where I was born. And in fact my company has the same name as his company, so he's also called Performance Partnership. So I was very inspired by him, I had a lot of respect for him, I still do, uh, and really wanted to start my own business because I saw how, how it works for him and, and what he did. One of the things for me is, is, about, is about control and controlling my own destiny. And I'll give you an example. So let's say I'm running some coaching uh, on a particular day. So I might get up at five in the morning and I might run, uh, do some administration, do some emails. I might do some exercise that morning then my kids get up, so I have six-year-old twin girls, so they take up a lot of time and energy. I get to have breakfast with them, and I get them to take them to school. Then I might start my official work day, even though it's been, getting, been going since five in the morning, at say 9.30, so I might see my first client then. So that allows me to actually take my kids to school and spend some time with them. And again, if I was working for someone else, I wouldn't be able to have that flexibility. We have hundreds and hundreds of training modules that we can customise for any of our clients. So rather than saying, all right, we're going to run a, um, a resilience and change training program for you and here are the modules, I can actually talk to you about, well, what is it exactly that your staff need? And you can choose from a number of different modules. So I think that makes us different. We also offer a 100% money back guarantee, which is quite unusual. So if as a client you do employ our services and, and you really think that you haven't got the value for money, we'll give you your, your money back straight away. Um, and I think I've been in the business for 20 years. So I've got a lot of experience and every year I go and update my skills and my own professional development. So I think if I'm encouraging other people in their professional development, it's something I want to do, but it's also important for the business. So I've been in it for 20 years. And one last thing, a lot of training programs and um, training events focus very much on the behavioural outcome. And what I've found over the years, and something that a lot of my clients have said to me, is that they're disappointed with the amount of behaviour change that occurs when people go on a training program. And I was really curious as to why this was. And with a background in psychology, I thought, well, I may as well utilise that and actually look at what makes the difference between a training program that people kind of enjoy, but the behaviour and their skill set doesn't change and one that does. And what we found is that if you only focus on the behavioural skill set change, the behaviours don't change. So your behaviours come from how you think and your behaviours come from your values and belief sets. So if as a training program you're not digging below the surface to help people understand where their behaviours come from, the behaviours are not going to change ultimately. People will always revert back. And what we've found since we've designed our programs with that as a basis, that we have, we have a lot greater success. The 
There's a number of challenges that are coming through. First of all, uh, I've got two types of clients. I've got the organisations that employ us uh, as, a, as a business to run training programs. And what I'm hearing from them is really what I just mentioned, that they're disappointed with the level of change that's occurring in the people that are coming onto the training programs. Return on investment is always a big issue for people. So how can you prove to me that your training is getting the returns that people are ultimately changing their behaviours and increasing their performance? And since we've changed the training programs to focus on actually tra training the underlying skill set and the thinking and the belief system, we've, we've noticed that there's a big difference. So people were, are coming forward and saying, I'm just not happy with, with what's occurring once the people have been on training programs. We're having to send them again and again and, and again. So that's the first thing. My second client set, I guess, is my actual coaching clients. So the people who I see one-on-one -on, one -on -one and I actually coach. And as the majority of those are women, what I hear a lot is this work-life balance. I want a career. I'm really passionate about it. I think I'm smart. I think I'm capable. I've got small children at home. <laughs> I've got a husband. I'm wearing about five or six different hats. How do, I, how do I balance that and not burn out in the process? So I really want to be good at what I do. I want to enhance my career. So how do I do that? But how do I balance that with all the other hats that I'm wearing? We've got a couple of things that we're planning for that are, that are coming up within um, the next little while. We're launching um, another Influence Masterclass. So that's been running very, very successfully. And that focuses on uh, a skill set for anyone, as I mentioned earlier, that really needs to influence and persuade in their job, uh, which I think is probably pretty much most most of us and um, but it looks at the psychology behind leadership so I've been studying this for about the last six years and what I've done is drawn together all of the leading practice latest theories looking at brain neurology the psychology and really putting together a program that targets specifically in an ethical way how we influence and, and persuade I mentioned also the emotionally intelligent leadership program that we've got coming up so people are looking for an edge in their leadership so there's a lot of standard leadership programs around they're great Emotional intelligence, according to Daniel Goldman, who was the founder of it, or is known as the founder, is really the differentiator between an average performing leader and, a, and an excellent performing leader. And a lot of smart organisations are now saying, well, we understand that, we appreciate it's just not IQ anymore, and we, want, and we want to enhance our leadership's potential by giving them that differentiator. So that's something that we're doing. And also the upfront and in control, which is the presentation and public speaking skills. Know, know your purpose. So understand why it is that you want to start a business. I think a lot of people go into it because it seems attractive. They'll think they'll earn a lot of money. It seems like a nice lifestyle. I mentioned the control about my own destiny and control over what I do. It's not always as easy as that. And there are, as I say, I get up often at five in the morning and I'm working till quite late at night. So there's a lot of hard work. And without that motivation of understanding what the bigger picture is, really the purpose for work behind why you're doing it, when things get tough, which they will, it's easy to want to, to give up. Whereas if you've got that, that real solid purpose and that, and that real meaning for what you want to do, that keeps you going when things do get tough, which inevitably in, in all small businesses they do. If people want to find out more about what we do as a business or, or more about how, how we operate the services and, and products that we provide, I would probably the best place to go is our website, which is just simply Performance Partnership. And there's a lot of information there. So what we've got is a number of free um, articles and reports that people can, can access. We've got a, a report up there at the moment, the seven strategies for increasing your emotional intelligence. And that's just an e example. So you can sign up. We've got a lot of audio downloads that people can just listen to. They're all complimentary. So they can go and have a look at some of the things that we do, get a sense of, of who we are and what some of our offerings are. And all our contact details are on our website. Right.